Good evening. Sorry for my tardiness. All right, so let's see who's, who all is here. So I have Byron. I'm here. Crystal Simon. Here. Yeah. Denise Thompson. I'm here. Ellen? Yeah. Marisi? Yeah. Carl? Yeah. Leslie? Yeah. All right, now tonight we have Nadia. I'm here. Okay. That's everyone in here tonight, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. So did everyone go over the the video? Yes, ma'am. I did. Yes, ma I did. Yeah. Were, yeah. there, were there persons that was were not able to? No? All right, now how many times are you able to go over? Uh, several times for me. I had to keep um, listening to the pronunciation. Like more than the three times? Yeah, yes. like slowing it down, repeat, yeah. And how, how did you find it? It was really good, it was helpful. I must say it was helpful because I liked how she said it and it was more or less an expression based, not, you know, dry as in just saying um, what it is, but the interaction was good too. So I think it was good, I understood it. I didn't find any, dif any difficulty with it. Maybe one or two, I must say, in terms of the pronunciation, but I'm sure you'll help us with that. So we're going to go over the video and we're going to um, take different parts and pronunciations with it. Did, did you take note of the pronunciations to what was said in English? Yeah. Um, and then some of the Spanish as well, in terms of the um, the plural, I guess, and singular context of it. Okay. All right. So yes, get it up. All right. So we're going to start. We're going to go through the video, and I'm going to pause and. Ask randomly for you to say a sentence. Wait. What was that? <laughs> was that Byron? I think you're the only male in here. Okay. Wasn't me. So, let's go on. All right. So, Kara. Hello. Oh, see, that's just what I want to say. I was reading my mind. Eh? Hello. Hola. I must see you know you do that. Let me put up my volume. Yeah, I'll go with the volume now. Eh? Okay. You need to up my volume? 
No, that's me. Okay, let's go again. Hello. Hola. One more time. Hola. One, one, one more time. Hola. Okay, yeah, that's better. Hola. Um, Marisi, hello. Hola. Crystal, how are you? Como esta? Not quite. Does anyone want to help her out? De como estas? Como estas? Okay, so I can't see um who that is because of the shared screen. Who was that? That was Kara. Okay. All right. So Chris, sorry, Crystal, let me hear you say your como estas again. Como estas. Okay. All right, Nadia, I am I'm fine. Estoy bien. Okay, good. Leslie, and you? E two. Byron, I am a little tired. Estoy un poco cansado. Little off. Did anyone hear what um what he said off? Is it the estoy or estoy he said? I'm not sure. I no, the story was fine. It's Paco. Oh. Mm -hmm. Un poco. Uh, un poco. Un poco. poco. Mm -hmm. Cansado. You said cansado. Oh, I said cansado. Sorry. Cansado. 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 Okay. All right. So from this phrase, um, would someone like to volunteer to tell me? What do you think goes well? Do you think it lines up? What is estoy in, in the sentence? I'm, I'm. So what is am in the sentence? Mm. I think estoy represents oh. I am, eh? Yes. Estoy means I am. I am. All right. Yeah. What do we think poco means in this sentence? A little. 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 All right. Mm -hmm. Cansado? I heard. And so first one means ah. Uh. So if you wanted to shorten this, you don't have to say I am a little tired. You could say estoy what? Poco. Cansado. Cansado. Yeah. So say, estoy can, cansado. Yes. And who was that? Cara. Cara. Okay. Again, sorry, I can't see who's talking because of the shared screen. All right. Good carry a superpower to him when the same class. All right, Denise, do you speak Spanish? Um, <laughs> Denise? Yes. I can need you to come off vacation. 
Habla español. Habla español. Hay que hablar para con. All right, let's go again. Oh, we can add a video. That's what you're doing. Oh, you oh, can add it? I get I can see the mode moving, but I didn't realize that's what you were doing. Oh, that's why we get in. All right. So it says, do you speak Spanish? And he said, Habla Habla. Repeat it. Pronounce the first word for me. Hablas. Hablas. Mm -hmm. Espanol. Correct. So say it together. Hablas Espanol. Right. It's fine. All right, Ellen. Yes. Yes, I speak Spanish. Si sí, hablo español. You sound like you were asking a question just now. Oh, si sí, hablo español. Si sí, hablo español. Si sí, hablo español. All right, so what do we think hablo means? I speak. I speak. All right, so. So what is yes then? C. 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 All right. All right. Leslie, do you speak English? Can you say that again? Sorry, you were breaking up. Do you speak English? Hablas inglés. Mm. Say it again. Hablas inglés. Hablas inglés. Hablas, hablas inglés. I think you know if you asking a, a question. Hablas inglés. All right. Hablas Byron, what are you doing? Yeah, a little. See you in Poco. Okay. Crystal, what's your name? Como te amas? Say it again. Como te amas? Como te amas? Ah. Como te ama? Mm -hmm. Como te amas? Nadia, my name is Alex. Mi nombre es Alex. Ellen, nice to meet you. Mucho gusto. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Gusto. Cara, what are you doing? ¿Qué estás haciendo? Okay. So in this instance, what is the word doing? What did we pick up from that? Haciendo. Correct. So what does estás mean? Are you? Are you? And so K is? What? 
just to um a note, estas is basically you. We will get into that after. We'll get into that. All right, Maurice, nothing? Nada. <laughs> Easy peasy. All right. Let's go to back to Denise. Are you free? Estás libre? Estás libre? Estás libre? Mm -hmm. So in the hand, what is, what is free? Libre. libre. All right, so estás is you. So the way you ask the question, that's where the R comes from, basically. It's how you ask the question. You know, you, you go high on a question. So you know it's a question, even in English, correct? Yes. Ellen, yes, I'm free. Si, sí, estoy libre. All right, so in this instance, what is a story? I'm. All right, so I'm, I am, is a story. Nadia, what do you want to do? ¿Qué quieres hacer? All right, so what is hacer in this one? Want to do? do? To do, to do. To do. Okay. That word hacer actually means to do. It's a verb, to do. All right, so what do we pick up is quieres. Do you. So quieres so you means want? you want. That was quieres. Oh. Quieres comes from a verb, querer, which means to want. Okay. But the way it's spelled, it's talking directly to you. What do you want? Byron, I'm hungry. Tengo hambre. Hambre, sorry. All right, so what? Do we think mm -hmm. I'm is in this sentence? Tango. Tango. Uh, this is one an, an, uh, an exception from the word, from the verb tener, which, you know, it means I have, if you were to translate, it means I have hunger. But tango means you use that. Um, mm -hmm. Sorry, um, because this is where I always get lost in Spanish. Um, mm -hmm. There are so many other, like you have I, you have I'm, you have I am, but mm -hmm. you have other Spanish words, like they're not going to always be the same. Like how mm -hmm. tango in this phrase is I'm. Mm -hmm. How does that work? Because it can be so confusing. Mm. Is it based on the subject verb or something like that? It 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 does because you you don't say estoy hambre. 
when you say tengo hambre, you say I have I have hunger. Estoy means all right. Let me write this. This we'll go over it in the next class. You have um, different ways of saying I am. Uh, it can be permanent or it can be something that's changing. We'll go over that in the following class. Um, you just tell me your doubts and we will separate them. As for example, I am a Bahamian. That is something I cannot change. I mean, you know, basically I cannot change that. Um, or I can say, but if I am angry, that's something I can change. So when I said I'm Bahamian, I'll say, soy de las Bahamas. I am from the Bahamas. But if I am, I'm angry or if I'm happy, I can say, estoy feliz because that emotion can change. I can go from being happy to sad to angry. So the verb ser means I am, or means to be, and a star as well means to be, but they're changing. Right, star changes um, goes for things that can change and sell goes for things that are permanent. Uh, another example. Mm. If you were to say, you know, your race or ethnicity, you can't change that. You're either black or you're white or you're Asian or um, Latino. You understand? Yes, I understand. So you'd use the verb ser for that. But I don't want to confuse people until, you know, unless they visually see what I'm talking about. So we'll go over that in the next class when to use ser and estar or tener. Sorry, and which one this was talking? Okay. I was Leslie. Leslie, okay. Let's make another one. I'm thirsty, Cara. Tango said. Tango All right, so said. what is what is what is said in this? Thirsty. All right, so do we see now the last one said tengo hambre? This one says tengo said, which is thirsty. What is the relation? What was what is the comment? What is the comment? They can change. The what what's 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 common in the two sentences? Tango, I tango. Oh, the, yeah, but do you yeah, mean the tango. fact that you mean the fact that um how the person feels changes? Mm -mm. It's still I am, regardless. But, it's saying so it's I tango am. then. Yeah. The tango remains the same. It's just how they feel. One is thirsty and one is, what was the other thing? Whatever it was. The one was hungry. 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 So, yeah. So, but do you notice from the other sentences that use estoy? What's, what's the difference? What are we talking about? Satisfaction. You're talking about a feeling. You're talking um, about a state of being, I guess. Food. Like, Oh, 
a state of food? No, hold on. It's in relation to food. In oh. Relation, yeah. Okay. Sorry, I was playing it. All right. Do you want to eat Marisi? KS comma? Nope, not quite. Denise, would you like to give it a go? No, oh, ma'am, I could. Denise? I would have said the same thing. I've never done Spanish in my life, so I'm just guessing. Yes. Yes. Right. So, do you recognize the word quieres from a previous video, from a previous sentence? Yes. yes. All right. Now, what did we say quieres means? You want. You to want. want. You want. You want. You want. Mm -hmm. So then, what does comer mean in this? To, to eat. eat. To eat. To eat. Yes. Comer comes from the um, means is the verb to eat. It's amazing how five words became two. Yes. <laughs> so they just asked right. you, you want to eat. But in English, we put, do you want to eat? See, now, <laughs> remember, it's your tone. Uh-huh. Quieres comer? That's a question. Quieres comer? Do you want to eat? Okay. When we ask the question, you know, we go high on the, on the last word. Last syllable. Crystal, let's go eat. Vamos a comer? Not quite. Ellen? Vamos a comer? Yes. Vamos a comer. So, what? Let's go. Vamos. Vamos. All right, so the sentence below is actually saying, vamos a comer, let's go to eat. And what does vamos mean? What does vamos signify? Going somewhere, leaving. And who is leaving? We are. We are we, leaving. We are leaving. Who wants to take this big boy on? I have a reservation. Tengo una reservación. That was good. Who was that? Ellen. Ellen. Tengo una reservación. All right, Byron, please sit down. This is a big one. Let me see. Huh? Por favor, siente. 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 So what is, what is please in this? Por favor. Pardon me? Por favor. Por favor. So what is siente? Sit down. But I have a question for that one. Okay. What makes it, what makes the pronunciation of the word sientate instead of sientate? Sientate. Sientate. Yeah. Sient. Ah. Sient. Say it again. Sienta. Sien. Yeah. Sientate. What's, what, what makes it sientate instead of sientate? All right. So sienta means. That's the seat. The T on the end, that means you sit down. 
I I get that, but somewhere inside there's an extra syllable, the extra two when you when you pronounce it. Hold on, what is what is the, what is your pronunciation? Let me hear. The entity. That's three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I only go on my I I watched the video earlier. I only go mm -hmm. on by what the video said. Cient Cienta tate. Cienta tate. Cienta so, Cienta. Cienta is one tate. word. Oh, okay. And tate. Uh, tate. Okay. You sound like you were saying tate. I got you. Cienta tate. Oh, you thought it was T-A-T at the end. It, yes. No, no. Cienta, Cienta tate. tate. I don't know, somebody jamming in the background. I don't know about Sorry. anybody. Sorry, me. Um, do you want something to eat? Who have an I picked on? I mean, nobody you know everybody don't volunteer at one time. You know, nobody Nadia. Tell you that. Here is algo de comer. Here is algo de comer. All right, that's two we all. Which two it was? Nadia. Tara. Tara. Quieres algo de comer? So again, what is comer? To eat. To eat. To eat. What is algo? Something. Yes, yeah, something. And again, quieres? You want. You want. You want. Yeah. <clears throat> Do you want something to drink? Marisi. What? What? Uh, que eres algo de tomar? Quieres algo de tomar? Say again. Quieres algo de toma? Yes. So in this, <clears throat> what is tomar? To drink. To drink. What is crystal? What is something? Something is algo. Algo. And Ellen, what does you want? <clears throat> yes. Yes. I hope you all yes. noticing the little trend that's going on. Okay. I hope you notice the trend that is going on. Hint, hint. Oh, wow. Who's that? Dan Denise. Mm -mm. <laughs> what else? Denise. <laughs> Denise, what's there to eat? Kara para comer, comer. Say it one word at a time. K, K. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. K, the first way you say it was fine. Aya. I. Aya. I. I. Like D Y E. Like E Y E. Okay. K I. K I. K I. K I. K I. Para. Uh huh. Comer. Comer. <clears throat> I thought I'd come back. Mm -hmm. Leslie, what? Can you ask that again? What? I'm sorry, my call has been breaking up the entire time. It, oh, it is? It keeps coming in and out. It's only getting things to say. Yeah, like it's, it's everyone speaks, it just comes in and out. I'm not getting any clear audio. But you can go ahead with it. 
questions. I was going to ask you, <clears throat> what's KI? What is KI? Um, mm -hmm. What? KI means what? Um, no? Something else? Now, previously, previously we said um, K means what? Mm -hmm. So it says KI. Uh huh. So KI means what's there? Mm hmm. I have a question. Okay. If the prior pronunciation for to eat was different from this one, <clears throat> which one? Does it does it mean so pa if if K I is what's there, then para comer is to eat? Comer. Comer? Yeah. Is just comer? Yes, comer. Just comer is to eat. So what is para? Para. I. Oh, para is like four, but you know, and, and certain yeah, translations, you can't translate word for word. Oh, okay, okay. So para means like, yeah, four, but we don't say that. Okay. So a translation from the Spanish to the English, they would use para, we, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't use that. Okay. Uh, Cara, I would like a pizza, please. Oh, I know you're going to come in here. <laughs> oh, boy. Kisiera, um, okay. Kisiera una pizza, por favor. Yeah, that wasn't bad. So, what is Kisiera? I would like. Correct. Kisiera. Kisiera. And uh, what is por favor? Please. Please, yeah. Crystal, do you like it? Gusta. Te gusta. Te gusta. Te gusta. So what do we think? Gusta, isn't this? Like it? Like it. Like it. Gusta actually means like, like, just like. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Gusta. So now the it refers to the sentence before I was talking about the pizza. Te means, you know, you. And you know, when we say the sentence, in our pitch, it, be, um, it becomes a uh, Question, te gusta? We catch that? Yeah, do you like yeah. it? Oh, you like okay. it. Okay. So the it, we're saying, you know, te gusta, but in English it's transforming to it because we know we we're talking about the previous sentence referring to the pizza. Uh -huh. But not really so in the, in the Spanish pronunciation. No, so let's just say, if you're having a bowl of soup, they're not, you don't have to say, you know, te gusta la sopa. We, we already know what we are talking about. As if you're, you know, if you have your job, you know, you tell someone you started a new job and they'll be like, okay, te gusta. They're going to say, you know, si te gusta el trabajo. We already know what we are, we are talking about. Mm, okay. That's following the, the, I would like a pizza, please. Yes. So um, once you already know the topic that you're talking about, there's no need to repeat. Okay, I see. Or pinpoint, like in English, we pinpoint, you know, do you like it or do you like that or, you know? Mm. Okay. All right, I like it, Ellen. Me. 
Me gusta. Me gusta. So what is me in this? What does that signify? I. I, me. Uh, I. Yeah, me. Mm -hmm. me. I like it. Me gusta. <laughs> I need someone. <clears throat> I don't know who child used to watch Dora. Yes, it's all the time. All right, so it's delicious. And what is that? It's, it's delicioso. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's one thing you should know. Yeah, boy. <laughs> All right, Denise, do you want some? Quieres un poco? And <clears throat> so what is, what is, what is some? Poco, poco, a little bit. A little. Yeah. I... So they're still asking you, they're not gonna say, do you, <laughs> quieres un algo? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want a little? Do you want some? So oh, Coco is a little. A little, yes. Yeah. So what is Kieris again? You want? You want. Do you? Not do you want. You want. You want. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there are so this reminds me of broken English. <laughs> it, it's That's not it broken. It, it isn't broken like... because they're, you're they're trying to compare it with English. With English, yeah. And their rules are different. So basically, we're saying that when it's um a question, the do is implied, and it's by the yes. way you ask it. Yes. Okay. I have someone already was ringing it off. You can say it. See, si, por favor. See, si, por favor. And what is C? Si? Yes. Yes. Pronounce the first word. Si. After the word after C? No, the word after por. C. Por. Say it again. Por. Por. Mm -hmm. Like if you say in porch without the H, four. Okay. Four, okay. Four, four. No, thanks, Nadia. No, oh, gracias. So what is gracias? Thanks. Okay, and where is no? <laughs> <laughs> no, there's no way. <clears throat> Thanks for the food, Leslie. Gracias por la comida. Gracias por la comida. All right. So what is poor in this? What is poor? Poor. Oh. Poor, all right. And so la refers to the. And what is comida? Food. Food. What is kitchen? Cocina. Mm -hmm. Okay. La cocina. You are very kind, Byron. It is muy amable. 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 All right, so this is an example. This was Leslie. All right, so eres. Yes, yes, yes. Is you oh. are. That comes from the verb ser, which means it's something permanent. You are a kind person. Okay. 
So you are very kind. Eres muy, what is amable? Fine. Fine. How much is that, Carol? Quanto cuesta eso? Mm -hmm. So what is quanto? How much? How much? I, mm. Yeah, you're right. Okay. So cuesta means like the price. The cost. Okay. All right, and that is the It's cheap, Marisi. Esperato. Esperato. Okay. Leslie, it's expensive. Es caro. Caro. Es caro. Denise, how was your day? Uh... Estovio, hold on, Estovio, two días, two días. Pero, Dana? Como estuvo tu día? Como estuvo tu día? Um, Carol, you want to give it a try? Como estuvo tu día? Como estuvo tu día? All right, and Byron, you want to give it a try as well? Como estuvo tu día? All right, so what do we think is como? How? 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 All right, and estuvo. Was your... Was. Oh, was 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 your day two? So two refers to you know your to oh. you yeah mm -hmm. to you and dia is a day. day all right. Me a dia is total the end. All right, my day was good, Nadia. Mi día estuvo bien. Mi día estuvo bien. Very good. So what is bien in this? Good. 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 All right. My day was bad, Ellen. Mi dia estuvo mal. Mi dia estuvo mal. What does mal mean? Uh, Sorry? I didn't, I didn't help anyone. Bad. Bad. Bad, yeah. Bad, yeah. Where are you from, Crystal? De donde eres? De donde eres? De donde eres? Eres. Mm -hmm. Cool. Leslie, that's another one. Okay. Another eres. <laughs> so eres, which means something, you know, from the verb set, which means something from where are you from? You can't change where you're from. Can I ask a question? Mm -hmm. I've, I've been used to hearing this question asked, they don't they, Aris, too? Uh-huh. 
what is the main difference between this and that? Just add the two to the difference. Yeah, it's the same thing because eris means you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's the same thing. Okay, so two is just really an extra word that was added. They don't they yeah, are extra. Yeah, because edit okay. means you. Okay. You who I'm talking right. to. Not him or her or they or me. You. Okay. So, so in this one, so in this one, um heirs means you from? No, you. <clears throat> you? So what is from? <clears throat> so that's implied. Huh? They on they? Um, it's like from where? Okay. Now do not see when you try to translate word for word, it yeah. gets complicated. Yeah. yeah. But they don't they basically means from. Like, don't they means where? Where? They don't they means from where? Okay, so they done they together means from where? Yeah, like where are you? Yeah, I mean, translate English ready from. <laughs> yeah, yeah. From, from where are you then? But you say donde means where, like where? period, mm -hmm. where? Where, uh -huh. donde, where? Where, okay. I'm from the United States, Leslie. Soy de los Estados Unidos. 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 All right. So an example here, what is soy? Soy de los Estados Unidos. Mm -hmm. So what is soy in this sentence? I'm. Yes. So now, now we've seen. Estoy, mm -hmm. we've seen tengo, mm -hmm. and we've seen soy. Soy, um, I don't know if anybody was writing down. Soy is something, refers to something permanent, of more permanent. Soy de los Estados Unidos. I am from the United States. That's why I am from. So you see where the day connects with from? Yeah. All right, and so los means the. The has different ways, and um, we'll get into that. There's different ways that you can say the, it depends on the subject. <clears throat> because United States is plural, it's los. It's plural and it's masculine. So it would be soy de las Bahamas? Yes. Who was that just now? Why Cara. is it la Go ahead. Sorry, I was Cara. Why is Go it ahead. last? And both yeah. of them, I think, uh, is talking about a country, eh? Yeah, but if you look at Estados Unidos, it's The noun is, it's masculine. Bahamas, A-S. Oh, I feminine. get it. So, so the feminine feminine is... noun, uh -huh, what you're talking about, mm -hmm. the article um, coordinates with what you're talking about. So if it ends in A-S, it's, it's, yeah. it's pronounced as last. The article is the. Mm -hmm. The article. Be, so it, you should use last, and if it ends in dos, like in os, you use los. Only if it's plural. But that's for, yeah, because it would be la, it would be l and la if it's singular, right? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, so estados because it's the United States, it's more than one country. Like you have a. Modern states, 
Stay yeah, safe. the safe salon, you know, it's 50 yeah. safe. Yeah. All right, what city are you from, Ellen? Um, De Kekuad, Eris. Mm -mm. Uh, Byron, you want to give it a try? De Kekuad, Eris. 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 Ciudad. Ciudad. Oh, Ciudad. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, what is Ciudad in this sentence? City. 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 So, all right, let me go to the next one. I'm from New York, Nadia. Soy de Nueva York. All right. So, Leslie. De que ciudad eres? Um, de que, you, you say you're asking me where city I'm, I'm from? asking you. I'm asking you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so in this instance, I'll be from New York. So soy de Nueve, Nueve York. No, no. I'm asking you where are you from? Where I'm, where I'm from. Mm -hmm. What? From? What city um, are you from? So I did. Mm. Yes, I don't know what kind of whispering that is. I don't know either. But <laughs> <laughs> I was literally about to say that. <laughs> All right, so you can still say it. I'm actually from So I did, Long Island. <laughs> so I did, Long Island. Okay. So questions i'm sure you're going to get into it but we're going to do more on the articles right yeah article. yeah we're going to do articles we're going to do verbs we're going to do now okay. we're going to place the sentences together mm. this um uh -huh. this is for for um um i'm gonna say verbal what is this listening i know what i mean i know your pronunciation because you know, at the end, you're going to read a paragraph. So how you pronounce <laughs> is going to be important. How's your family, Crystal? Oh, is that too familiar? Say it again. <clears throat> Como está tu familia? Como está tu familia? So, and this, what is family? Familia. Familia. Mm -hmm. Very good, Denise. Muy bien. So what is muy? Very. Okay. Very bad, Ellen. Muy mal. Muy mal. Wow. <laughs> who said that? Semanas y hermanas tienes. All right, who said that? Say it again. Cuantos hermanas y hermanas tienes. Mm -hmm. But make sure when you say in your O, it doesn't sound like your A. So, cuantos hermanos y hermanas tienes? Oh, okay. 
So what is siblings? Hermanos. Anamanes. Anamanes. So in this is saying, you know, how many brothers and sisters Sister. do you have? Right. You could have left it, you could have left it as hermanos, um, which would have included both. Okay. Um, but hermanos, brothers, hermanas, sisters. sisters. So what does Tiana mean? You have. Uh, you have. Uh, you. As when you're speaking to, you know, someone directly. I'm sorry, you said they could have left it at what? What was it you said they could have left it at? When For speaking, yeah, when you're speaking um, selective, you'll use the masculine version. They chose to break it down into masculine and feminine. Mm -hmm. When you're speaking of collective, been... collectively you can you can you can use the masculine, which means for so, everyone. Unless you already know the person only has brothers. And you're just asking how many. Cuantos hermanos tienes? Cuantos hermanos tienes? And they could have said, mm -hmm. you know, tengo dos hermanos y tres hermanas. Okay. <laughs> Two or three. Sisters. Two brothers, three sisters. Two brothers, three sisters. Okay. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. There you go. All right. I have two sisters. Carol. Tengo dos hermanas. ¿Y cuántos hermanas tiene? Tango dos hermanas. Oh, you're asking me. Oh, yeah. um, mm, what I have? <laughs> tengo, uh, uh, tengo uno hermanas. Una hermana. Hermanas. Hermanas. Okay. Hermana. Hermanas. Because it's one A. Una. So tengo una hermana. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Byron. ¿Cuántos hermanas tienes? Say that again. ¿Cuántas hermanas tienes? ¿Cuántos hermanos? Tú. ¿What? Dos. Say the sentence. Two. Tengo dos hermanos. Tengo dos hermanas. You asked me mm -hmm. if I have two sisters? No, I asked you how many. Dos. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> what are you thinking about, Denise? Thank you. Estás pensado? Mm -mm. Nadia? ¿En qué estás pensando? ¿En qué estás pensando? Oh. In K estás, so estás is what? Thinking? Thinking. Mm -hmm. Now we've been saying is it, estás. Are you? Are you? I thought estás was are you. Pensado is thinking? Estás is you. Pensando. Thinking. Thinking. Okay. It's so it's actually it's saying, you know, and what are you thinking? But again, you know, we cannot translate word for word. I have homework, Nadia. Tengo tarea. Tengo tarea. 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 Nadia, I, Nadia, I think you did. I think you did Spanish before. Your pronunciation is pretty good. No, no, I do Spanish before. Nice, I, Nadia. No, because <laughs> Creole. I speak Creole, so it's kind of yeah. like that similarity. Oh, okay. 
So yeah. you speak a different language. Okay, yeah. yeah. So it'll probably be easier for you to pronounce. Yeah. Okay, I got you. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy, Crystal. Es fácil. Es fácil. Es fácil. Mm -hmm. Pronounce it again. Fácil. Yes. For me. Yes, fácil. Fácil is the word. Fácil. I can't take it back too far. Okay. Miss Kupu, you could cause us to curse in this class. Who yeah. is that? Hmm? You're going to cause us to curse in this class. I have the thing before I pronounce. Process the curse? I said, you're <laughs> going to cause us to curse in this class. Because we can't, I, I mean, for me, I can't pronounce it. I just have to oh. look at it and say it twice in my head before I try to pronounce it. Who? Oh, which one is this? Marisi. But Marisi. Yes. <clears throat> How much times you watched the video? About six times. And you wasn't catching on the none at all pronunciations they were saying? Some uh, of these are not in the video. I, I don't remember saying this one and this um this sal, fasal. I don't remember saying those two in the video. Fasil. 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 He also Fasil. speaks really fast. Yes, he does. So you have to like replay it yeah. to catch it. Okay, we're gonna plan our practice. Let me know that. All right. <clears throat> Hold on to five. All right. Yeah. It's yeah. difficult, Marisi. It's difficult. Difficult. Difficile. S difficile. Mm -hmm. Okay. Difficile. Okay. What do you study, Leslie? Um, do you repeat me picking up? What do you study? She is studious. Mm-mm, Carol. Que estudias? Que estudias? So what is estudias? Study. You study. You study, okay. <clears throat> Oh, I study. I study French. Oh my God, Nadia. Estudio Francis. Yes. All right. <laughs> All right, big boy. What do you like to do in your free time, Byron? Tequila. What? <laughs> you say tequila? All right. Uh, that was funny. Yeah. Um, <laughs> gusto hacer en tu tiempo libre? gusta hacer en tu tiempo libre? So what is tiempo? Tiempo would be time. Free. Mm, free. No. So Libre is no, free. Time. 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 Libre is free. Libre is free. Yeah, Libre is free. Libre is free. Right. Yeah, Libre is free. Right. Libre is free. Right. Yeah, Libre is free. Right. Yeah, Libre is free. Right. Yeah, Libre is free. Right. Like. You like. Right. You like. You like. I 
like to watch movies, Ellen? Oui. Uh, me gusta ver películas. Say it again. Me gusta ver películas. Películas. You say it good. I thought you were getting crazy just now. Ma? <laughs> Jesus. So what is, what is there? Watch. Watch. Close. There. Close. See? Huh? There is to watch. To watch. To watch. You know something, Miss Cooper? Hmm? They they look they look like um looking at the translation, right? Mm -hmm. On how to say it. It's mm -hmm. like they get tired in the middle of a sentence and they just try to make <laughs> it short. Like, no. That's how so, so just look. Just their rules. Yeah. Wow. You can't you can't think in English about it. Because then it'd be wrong. Yeah. I mean, okay, so Nadia, right? Nadia? Yes. Okay, so maybe Nadia can help out a bit too. So okay. Nadia, so you speak Creole, correct? I do. If you was to translate word for word to English, would it make sense to you? No. Because it Not has its own rules, right? Sorry. Because Creole has its own rules. So you have to put certain words somewhere to make right. it make sense. Yes. So same thing with Spanish. It doesn't make sense because we're comparing it to what English would put. So it's better just to learn it as it is for what yeah. it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And then, you know, when you, you can think in Spanish, it makes sense to you. Mm, okay. I like to travel, Crystal. Me gusta, oh. um, sorry, I had to think. <laughs> Me gusta video. Is it beer or beer? Mm -mm. Rose, um, Denise? Beha. Me gusta beha. Me, oh. Me gusta viaja. Mm -mm. Oh, you say ja. Mm. Me gusta viajar. 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 Mm -hmm. So what is via hard? Travel. Travel. Not just travel. To travel. To travel. To travel. Or like to travel. No, me gusta. No. Is, me gusta, me gusta, me gusta is, is, is I like. like. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like. And then to travel. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. What time is it, Carol? KRS. Okay, what are you? KRS. Order. Order. So you roll the R? Yes, I can't do that yet, though. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> what I is? Y'all got that? Hold on, y'all. Y'all can't hear it for Joy. I can hear you, but I can't hear his pronunciation. You Maybe can't hear the video. No, we can't hear. What are you saying? Maybe the volume at the bottom, right below him, is a is a volume. 
Would that work? That, no, that would that I, work? Mm -mm, that I, I can't help you. <clears throat> Probably because of the shared screen. Maybe. Yes. Yeah. It's 120. Ellen. That's not on I event. Event. Es la una y vente. So, why is la una? It is la una. Because why? you're talking about the time. It's one. It's one. Uh -huh, because it's one. Okay. So, use la. Mm -hmm. Any other time on the clock is what? Lose? Ah, uh, because it's plural. Or L? L. Let me see. Is it L? L. No, it's la una. No, you said any other number, it will be, what would it be? It would be the last one. Because that's only one. So one is the only single number. Oh, right. one, the number one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Hold on, let me go. All right. So if it was two twenty, what it would have been? That's dos. What time? What's the bit? I didn't have those Well, what would the article be? But not even fair because we haven't gotten into articles yet. So that would be e, e the Y, Evente, e. like dos Evente. Yeah, it'd still be the same. Mm -hmm. But it wouldn't be es la. Okay. It will be one. But, I don't want to confuse you all. First of all, would it be L? Son. Oh, son. What would it be? Son las dos y veinte. Oh, las son, dos? Son, son. Mm -hmm. You can't hear. <laughs> dos. Dos. Let's Marie sing. Oh. I want to go to the airport. Nisisito ni. I always okay. Nisi nisisito nisisito. Hold on. That's okay. The first word. What is wrong? Let's think about necessary. How would you pronounce that? You know, necessary is spelled, not how you pronounce it, but it's spelled almost the same way. So, necessito. Necessito. Mm-hmm. R, no, I can't put the I is pronounced why. Ir. Ir. Al aeropuerto. Aeropuerto. R, F. Aeropuerto. It's still there. I keep on forgetting you're gonna Ario Puerto. Ario Puerto. Puerto. Mm -hmm. Puerto. And what is Ario Puerto? Airplane airport. Yeah. What is necessito? Need to? Mm. Or just I need. I need. Nice. What is Ir. To go. To, to go. Move. So if I just wanted to say, I need to go. Yes. So we won't use the nest the necessito. We'll just use I eat. I pronounce no. that right? No, ir means just to go. That's it. To go. Yes. Oh, so ir. Okay. Are a 
Yid Aripuete. Puerto. Aeropuerto. Aeropuerto. So just the uh, Eid and the airport. Just those two together? Or what? the A L? For what? If you said, which is the I I said I, 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 I do want to say I need to go. Oh, okay. No, you you took out the need. You just said you took out the need and you said, I want to go or I have to go. No, I said, but what words would you use if you just wanted to say, I need to go? Oh. Which would be what? A, which would be neces necesito. Necesito yeah. ir. That's mm -hmm. it. Or you could say necesito irme. And yeah. why would be irme? Because me, referring to what? Me. 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 A single person. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> me. 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 What's your phone number? Um, who was talking just now? Was Marisi, eh? Marisi. Okay, no, not who I gave it to. Who was asking me the question just now? That was Marisi. Okay. So, Leslie, what's your phone number? Hola. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi, see. <laughs> what's your what's your phone number? Um, call S2 numero de telefono. Qual? Qual is tu numero de telefono? Qual is tu numero de telefono? Here you go, Les. Okay. It's good. We know what I noticed in too. The way we pronounce the certain letters is also different. Because I would not get qual from qual. <laughs> qual from from the I would say qual. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When we go over the alphabet, it'll make sense too. We don't know. I just didn't want to start with that first. That's a good thing. Because I noticed um, I've done that in the past and I noticed it was a little bit more difficult when persons learn the alphabet first. Okay. No problem. So call me. That's why I want y'all to listen. You know, listen to the video a few times to see how they was pronouncing it. Mm -hmm. Call me. Miss Cleo. <laughs> Denise. Sorry, I know that. <laughs> uh, yummy? Yeah, yummy. you say it good. Yummy. Yeah, that's yummy. 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 I'll call you, Carol. <clears throat> Say your man. Hmm? Say your man. Oh. Mm -hmm. um, um, what that's supposed to be? Yamo. Yeah. Yamare. Yamare. Mm -hmm. Say Yamare. So yamare is future tense, which means I'll call. The te means I'll call you. See you later, Crystal.
Hasta luego. Hasta luego. What is luego? Later. Later. So what is hasta? See you. <laughs> oh, okay, I got a question. Oh, you? It, it actually means like until later, but until later. the English translation would be see you later. <laughs> I got a question. Mm -hmm. Is la vista a Spanish word? Hasta la vista, baby. Because yeah. I can use something with that. Yeah. I, hey, hey. <laughs> I just want to know if it's Spanish or not. And what it is, it is um, but it's like. Vista like sites. Like what? Sites. That's what you mean. <laughs> sites, like vision. Oh, okay. Okay. Like La Vista. So it's I Hasta don't see, So I don't want to see you no more. No, that's a until. <laughs> so until later. I no, I mean Vista. Are you talking yeah, about Vista? vista? Yeah. Well, this does right. like vision. Like, I don't want to see you anymore. Why, why, why are you saying I don't want to see you anymore? It's not like you're going to write with love letter or something. No, no, no. It's just a question. So, la vista means. Okay, I got you. Asta, la vista. The vision. Okay, the sight. So, that'll be like until we see each other again. See you soon, Byron. Hasta pronto. pronto. What's pronto? Soon. Yeah. Soon. Where is the exit? Wine, wine, talk to Ellen. Ellen. Uh -huh. ¿Dónde está la salid, salid, salida? ¿Dónde está la salida? ¿Dónde está la salida? ¿Dónde está la salida? Exit. Exit. Okay. Question. Exit. Mm -hmm. La. Mm -hmm. La. La. Mm -hmm. Isn't we supposed to use that when it's plural? No, you use it when it's feminine. Oh, feminine. So salida is talking about the exit. Salida, ending in an A, is feminine. So anything ending in A is feminine. Anything ending in O is masculine? That's the general rule, but there are a few exceptions. Okay. For example, um, your hand, it's la mano. Yeah, that, 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 yeah. That, that's a masculine, feminine. I mean, if you look at the rule, it's masculine, masculine, feminine, but no, it's an exception then. Because mano, mano is um, considered Feminine. I can't. I can't remember exactly why. Um, because the mano is it breaks off from a longer word. Okay. Okay. Which is actually feminine. Oh. So that's why you put the la before the her mano because it came from a feminine word. Yeah. Okay. You're going to Google it now. All right. So, all right. It comes to the Latin word manas, which is feminine. Okay. It's just like um, radio, say la radio, because radio is short for radio something, something, something. <laughs> like a feminine 
a longer feminine word. Okay. So they just make so it shorter and make it feminine. Yeah. So there's slight okay. exceptions, um, but then, you know, there are made no, no exceptions. Okay. A popular okay. exception, I should say. All right. Leslie, where are the taxis? Donde están los taxis? All right. So why is it los? Um, because it's plural. And what else? Um, because it's followed as son. Mm -mm. It's because of what's following it. So what it's talking about. Last, taxis is masculine. Uh huh. Mm. Taxis okay. are masculine. Why mm. taxis are masculine though? I mean, if I may ask. So let's think about it. Taxis are carros. Carros. Taxis are. Which is a car. Okay. Yeah. So the house would be Las Casa. La Casa. La Casa. Okay. Mm -hmm. The house is feminine. Mm -hmm. that, that makes sense. <laughs> it does. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, if you're saying it like that, with the A and the S, I, it, it would make so a ship would be last. A ship? Ship, no. El Barco. Are ships considered females? Are they named them by the females? No, 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 no. You looking mm -hmm. at the object itself, the oh. noun itself. But the word itself, eh? Like... Yeah, that's just like if you name your son James. What? But he's still a boy. You understand? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Yeah, that's you true. You name your son Jane, you're still going to call him him. Because I know Jane that is a boy and I know Jane that is a girl. So, oh, yeah. Wow. Okay. Yes, I do. I just pulled that out the air, but okay. <laughs> so what about Leslie? That yeah, Leslie back. is a boy and girl, yeah. <laughs> Leslie is a feminine, I mean, yeah, yes. a feminine yeah. or masculine name. Yeah. But it depends on who is Leslie. Is Leslie? A, girl, a male or female? Aha, uh -huh. is Leslie a male or female? So if Leslie is a female, you do last. If it's a male, you do loose. Correct or no? Now, last only for plural. For plural. Oh. So, so Lose, and, and Lose. we're talking about humans. If um, Leslie is a female, we would say A. -a. Uh, if Leslie is a male, we'd say L. Oh, okay. Alpha male. So L is him, A is her. Oh. But that doesn't have to do with the object we're talking about, like the taxis or a boat. Okay. I just use that as an example. Whether, because I, I think you were saying, you know, if you name the, give the boat a feminine name, but it doesn't matter what you name your boat, it's the boat itself. Oh, the, what, the, the name of the boat in Spanish, if it ends with an O, then that's, that determines whether it's a loss or la. No, and then loss or la. Remember, loss or la determined is is determined by if it's plural or singular. Oh, okay, I got you. Okay, I thought it would it, would, it determine the gender, or did yeah. Mm -mm, you or use if, that depending on what you're talking about. Okay. All right. To the airport, please. To so the airport, please, Carol. Al Aeroporto, por favor. 
aeropuerto, por favor. So what's aeropuerto? Mi aeropuerto. That's where I want to go now. <laughs> Thank you. All these instructions. All right. Let's see. Goodbye, Nadia. Adios. Adios. What's that? See you all next week. Which one that was? That's Kara. <laughs> I don't know, man. We can read this paragraph. We can need to have at least half an hour, happy hour. Please. <laughs> one o'clock. By the time we come down to that, you're going to be a pro in reading. Pro in pronouncing. Oh, gosh. I feel it for you a little bit this evening. Just a little bit. I like it though, interesting. But overall, um, I feel like you know you all pronounced rather well. I um we can end the class, but I would suggest you probably take the next half hour and probably watch the video because who that was Marisi who said she never see the sentence and watch it six times. That the those two words. The fascia, what? Fa the fascia and the difficile. And the difficile. That's the two I didn't remember seeing. So um, take the next half hour. I mean, it's your time. You choose to or not. And go back over the video because I will send homework via quizzes. But I'll let you know when I send it. Okay. And when I send it, you're going to have a particular time to complete it, but I'll explain all that. Okay. If you don't complete it within a particular time, then it's going it's going to time out. Oh, so when you send it, you send it at a particular time, and from that time, but you have to send that in the afternoon, though. I'll give you um a few days. So let's just say if I send it Monday, I'll uh -huh. give you by Wednesday to complete it. Okay. But let's just say if by Wednesday eight o'clock you don't, it's gonna you won't be able to access it anymore. Okay, that's fair enough. Yeah, so go over that because um, we're gonna be quizzed on a few things, a few words from now. That's what I was saying to y'all you know, when we was going through it. You're paying attention to certain words. In that case, can I get you to add both of my emails, please? Because it's quite possible that I may not see it. I'm gonna remember you. K Leticia D at Gmail. I forget. Uh huh. But I send it to the Scotia one as well, please. Okay. Miss Cooper, I think. Them. I think the which one I gave you, Miss Cooper, because the I think two seven one three something. That one I think has crashed. I saw Google the Google my Google email. I don't know what's going on with that. Okay. Do you want to give me something else? The M Richardson at bmchomes.com. Um, maybe. Let me just write that because I think I have something there. Because I don't know what's going on with my Google. I I don't. I honestly don't know. M Richardson at bmchomes.com. Dot com. Okay. All right. I'll let you know when I send it. Um. I only ask that maybe you go over the video for. Well, I'll give you until Sunday. I'll send it. I'll send it to you on Monday. So okay, it gives you fine. enough time. I feel you know to go over, go over, go over. Mm -hmm. And I believe that I can time the homework itself, not for when you have access to do it, but how long you can take on each question. Okay. So if you think you're going to be scrolling up and down and shooting through video and cheating. The devil is a liar. <laughs> Unless you know that video that I time. Oh, you yeah. have a hand and you can move quick. <laughs> so the only thing we need to reference is the video. We need to watch it a few more times. Is what you're saying? Yep. Okay. okay, that's fair enough. Okay. I know everybody's retired from work. 
Yep. The brain would be tired, I'm not including myself. Trying not to, you know, hurt anybody during the day. I understand. So, you know, a lot of people have, you know, you have your home chores, your kids, homework, cooking. So I'll leave it at this tonight. Um, just go, I'll give you time. Go over the videos and on Monday, you can expect something from me. Okay. Thank you. All right. So everyone have a good night. You too. Okay. Have a great weekend, everyone. Good evening. Good evening, Hi. everyone. Good evening. Good night. Yeah.